All right, today we're going to talk about two-digit by two-digit multiplication. So as you can see, up here I have an equation that is two digits, 23 times two digits, which is 45. And we're going to use this lovely little area model right here to find our final product. So let's try this out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 23. And I'm going to use expanded form to pull it apart. So the first thing I want to do is put my 20 in that tens place. And my plus sign. And I have my 3 on the back end. This looks just like what we did with 2 by 1 multiplication. You have your number that you've broken into place values into your tens place. And then your ones place. Now, I'm going to do the same thing to my number 45. I'm just going to do it on the side. So once again, I have my 40 right here, my plus sign, and there's my 5. Notice that I did the same thing to my number 45 that I did to 23. I just put it along the side versus putting it at the top. Now, your brain might already be clicking, thinking about what you might do with this here. So, thinking about an area model, we know we multiply inside of the boxes. So, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on this first box right here. If we're doing our 2 by 1 multiplication, we know that we're going to take this number and multiply it by the top number. So, let's go ahead and do that. So I know that in this case, we're going to have 20 times 40. I'm not going to solve it right this second. We're just going to go on to the next box. So that next box here, we're going to do 40 times 3. I'm going to go a little bit outside of the box. There we go. My 4. There we are. Now... Here's the part that often gets tricky for kiddos. I was able to do my area model for this top row because we're used to that. But now I need to think about this bottom row. So the very first thing I'm going to do is go to this box. Start at the left. You might start thinking about what it is you're going to multiply here. I know for me, now that I've focused on this area, I'm going to take my 20 up top, this 20, and I'm going to multiply it by 5, this 5. And then finally, we're going to go to that last box. And you might already have an idea, but I will tell you for sure what you're going to do is you're going to take this 3, and you're going to take this 5. So I'm going to do that quick here. So I have 3 and 5. So in this last case, I took my 3 and I took my 5 and I put them in this final, final box. Now from here, the only thing you have to do is start multiplying and adding up your final products. So in this case, we're going to take 2 and 4. My zeros go away. 2 times 4 is 8. Put my two zeros back on. Next box, take my 0 away. 4 times 3 is 12. Put my 0 back on. Now I'm going to come down to this bottom left corner box. I'm going to take my 0 away. 2 times 5 is 10. Add my 0 back on. And then finally, this last box, 3 times 5 is 15. Notice I have four separate partial products. Now, the only difference from before is we have to add for all four of these up. So, in this case, I've got my 800. I've got my 120. I've got my 100. And I've got my 15. Add all of these up. 5, 3, 10. Put my comma in. Now, I know that... All of this, the solve 23 times 45, actually equals 1,035.